Today, I'm going to take a look at these, the Anker Soundcore Life Q10s, and find out exactly why every single tech YouTuber seems to love them. Welcome back to another episode of Stu's Reviews. If you're a regular of Stu's Reviews, you wouldn't be wrong in remembering the name Anker Soundcore, and that's because very recently, I took a look at an Anker Soundcore speaker, because... It was supposed to be the highest rated reviewed speaker on Amazon with over, I think it was 30,000 reviews. And it didn't disappoint, it was fantastic. But after that, it got me thinking, what are the other Anchor products like for sound? So I did some digging and nearly every single tech YouTuber has taken a look at these, the Anchor Soundcore Life Q10. Bit of a mouthful to say, I wish companies would stop choosing bizarro names like that, rather than you just taking my word that other YouTubers have said these things are good. I actually emailed them and asked them just to send me a very quick snippet of their overall opinion of these headphones. And this is what some of them said when they got back to me. Hey guys, Tech702 here. These Q10s, Beat the Beats, headphones of the year. Absolutely amazing. The Soundcore Life Q10s are amazing. Yo, Stu, you truly need to try these out. Hi, Stu, it's Dave. I hope you're doing well, mate. Really have got to try these. Uh, there is no better sounding. Listen, Stu, your boy Viper thinks the q are so good, I got two pairs. Woo! 60 hours of battery life, USB-C charging, Bluetooth 5.0, amazing sound, and unbelievable bass. The Soundcore Q10s offer tremendous value for your money. The value is unbeatable. You know what I like about this? Number one, I'm in love, and you're in love. We're all in love together. So I guess today, either I'm going to make a lot of friends or a lot of enemies if they turn out to be rubbish. With that said, let's get these open and have a listen. On the surface, they do appear to be quite interesting. They've got 60-hour playtime along with a 5-minute charge per 5 hours of playtime, which is incredible. And they've got USB-C as well. And we all know how much I love USB-C. So let's get these open and have a look. Ooh, very nice. Right, in the box we've got the auxiliary cable and we've got the... USB-C cable and the headphones. But what we also have is copious amounts of plastic in the packaging. Anka, if you're watching this, please stop using plastic in your packaging. It's killing the environment and it's not needed. There are plenty more environmentally friendly options. So let's have a look at these. Ooh, do you know what? Immediately, I really like the softness of these cups. Very, very, very nice. Potentially not that much longevity in them. They may decide to start peeling pretty quick. I don't know, obviously I can't tell you that, but it certainly feels quite soft, which sometimes with these headphones, if they are a bit soft, they can peel a little bit quicker, but it doesn't matter. But overall, the design's quite nice. Bit of a rattle coming from the ear cups here because Obviously, that's the adjustment there to fit your head, but not bad, quite light. And this up here, this is nice. This is very nice, a bit firmer than the ear cups and also feels a bit more harder wearing. It's almost like a silicon style feel to it. I like the design of these. And I think they only currently come in two colors. They come in these black and red, and they also come in a bizarre kind of purple and gold, which is a really unusual color combination. Where's the green ones? Anyway, let's get these on and see what they're like. Overall, I like the comfort. They feel very, very nice. They feel quite soft. A little bit wobbly, potentially. I wouldn't say they're the tightest ones in the world. They're quite wide. If I shook my head enough, they would come off without a doubt. But overall, the comfort is very, very nice there. I'd happily wear these for quite a while without them being uncomfortable. In terms of buttons on the device itself, there's only four. We've got the base up and down, I'd assume. We've also got the volume up, volume down, and the on off button, and obviously the USB charging and uh, auxiliary input all in one place on one ear cup. So they are a very, very sleek design indeed. Now we can turn them on by pressing this button here. Let's get them paired up. 
Okay, that's all paired up and ready to go. And I think we can turn the bass up and down by pressing this button here. Normal. Oh. Bass up. Yep, she's speaking to me. I don't know if you can hear that. Normal. Bass up. Hmm. Let's put it on normal for now. Let's put it on normal and we'll have a listen to some music. Oh, I see what everyone is meaning about that bass. Wow. Wow. Wow, they are definitely, definitely bass oriented. I would say the sort of highs aren't quite as clear as I'd like them to be, but the bass is extremely good. And that was with the bass down. Let's turn the bass up. Bass up. Well, that's just a bit silly now. Wow, that sends the bass a bit crazy. Wow, with that bass on, or with the bass boost on, it really does pump that bass out something chronic. Let's turn that off though. I don't know if I'm a fan of that. My first impressions of these Oh, they're very good. And not necessarily because they are the best headphones I've ever tried, because they're not. They're not the best headphones that I've ever tried. I'd certainly say they are among the top five, but it's difficult because I'm taking the price into account. Now, let me tell you how much I got these for. Hold on, I can't actually remember. 32 pounds and 75 pence from AliExpress and that is because that was the cheapest place I could find them. Now there was a slight problem with this in the fact they've taken about two and a half months to get to my house. So that was my mistake. I didn't mind the wait. Obviously it would have been nice to get some content on these and try them a bit earlier but because I ordered them directly from China it took a long 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 time to get here. They are available on Amazon. We find out how much more. Okay, they're on Amazon for £10 more, £42.99, and and I can get them tomorrow if I ordered them right this second. So if you want to check these out yourself, I will leave a link in the description below to the Amazon page so you can take a look at them. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't recommend ordering them from China, but if you want to save yourself a tenner, I think if I'm going to be critical, these are not the best headphones that I've ever tried. And I wasn't really sure what to expect when coming into this, but... They haven't disappointed so far. I think value for money, these things are incredible. And if you're looking to buy a pair of cheap headphones that you can throw in the back of your car with the dogs and the wet shoes or whatever you do with your headphones, then these are definitely a contender because if they do break, they're not that expensive to get replaced. There are better headphones out there, but then you have to spend a lot more money to get them. Overall, I'm actually quite impressed, and I can see exactly why there are many, 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 many tech YouTubers who recommend these. But I think it's now time for me to go off and have a real good test of these, have a listen on a bunch of different stuff, and I'll be able to share with you my final opinion then. I've since tested these in numerous settings and ways, and I can tell you that I'm still pretty impressed. There's very little latency in the headphones, meaning they're good for video and gaming content, not just music. In fact, the bass makes watching movies quite enjoyable. Although these things are fantastic, they aren't without a few little flaws. Firstly, the bass can occasionally be a little bit overpowering in my opinion. Also, when not playing sound but powered on, the white noise is rather audible compared to other headphones. 
but despite these little things, there's very little negative points about these headphones, which is why I'm going to have to agree with the rest of the tech community on this one. These are great value, and while there are undoubtedly better headphones on the market, you won't find many with this level of quality at this price. So that concludes today's episode on the Anchor Soundcore Life Q10s. Hopefully next time they'll shorten the name, but I hope you've enjoyed today's episode and I hope you've enjoyed looking at these because let me tell you something, I've enjoyed looking at them. But that concludes today's episode. Guys, thank you very much for joining. If you liked today's video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And if you're a new person to Stu's Reviews, let me know what you think of these if you get them yourself. And for those that are not new to Stu's Reviews, you may have realized I used a different camera angle in this episode. And I want to know what you think of that. So let me know in the comments below. But other than that, guys, I'll see you back for another episode of Stu's Reviews soon.